Hello and welcome to this much anticipated video and I would just like to take a moment to thank the just over 2,000 of you guys that have been following along with the bowl. This has been quite a journey but I'm pretty sure it'll all be worth it here very soon. So if you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. That'll help me out to create more videos and ultimately do more car things. <laughs> So in December of 2020, I decided it's now or never to chase my dream of having a car with turbo noises. I decided that the old 1.8 liter four banner wasn't going to be part of the goal and we need bigger displacement. So the majority of the past year has been spent getting this new inline six cylinder 3.2 liter M104 Mercedes engine to fit into the chassis. And a few months later, we figured it all out and had a running and driving car again. <laughs> turbo I also bought a turbo manifold I got a turbo smart 45 millimeter wastegate on there as well as a 76 millimeter straight pipe out the back after getting that done we could take the car on a small test drive stupid mistake that's not gonna work that actually happened on my way to one of my friends but he had this pretty cool idea to get a ball joint in there to seal up the hole so that I can make it all the way back home I had to make another plan with that part so here's what I did that sorted out and the plastic line is away from the heat we could focus on the next thing and that is injectors and that's where the Afcon group came in so I've used them before I bought my 45 millimeter turbo smart wastegate from them but this was my first time going on their website and ordering six 440 cc injectors along with a 100 millimeter air filter and I shit you not the next day I had everything in my hand but if you guys are looking for any performance parts, I would highly recommend checking out the AFCON group. I will leave their website down below. They don't only have great service, but unbeatable prices. So do make sure to go check them out. And now that we have the bigger 440cc injectors in the car, I wanted to start the car up to check that new line I made if we have any leaks. air filter for some clean air the car should be pretty much done i guess in the next clip you'll see us tuning the car the next day So 
while I waited for Lance from Talk Tuning to arrive, I got the car ready so that we can get the AFR sensor in the exhaust and then start tuning. But we ran into an issue pretty soon after he arrived. It turns out the car wasn't only running rich, it also had a misfire or two. At first we thought it was a dead spark plug or something, but it turned out it was an issue with the injectors. So when I got the new injectors, I saw that two of them were a lighter shade of green when I got them, but me being me, I thought, nah, it'll be fine. And it turned out it's not gonna be fine. Lance can do some pretty amazing things with tuning, but he can't fix the wrong injectors. So they left and I was able to get the car back into the garage. To do some more testing in here so that I can make sure that the problem isn't on my side, maybe with some wiring or something. After checking over everything, the problem was those two injectors. So I reached out to the Avcon group once again and they had no issue at all sending me some more. So I'm actually on my way to go pick them up right now and I know you guys that actually don't care about the Honda that I got with the broken piston and bent valve but I fixed that as well so we're going to take it and go pick up the new injectors and take it on a test drive just to check over everything to hold on to your hats and get ready for some real speed So loud. <laughs> yeah, so this thing is pretty interesting. Not very fast, but yeah, it does help with the traffic in town. But I went and picked up the injectors and then I got some carb cleaner so that I can take the injectors that I got to launch and then we tested all of them like this. We were also curious to see what a 1600cc injector looks like. <laughs> as well as some 1000cc injectors. And the difference is pretty obvious. But now that we have six injectors, I can get the injectors back in the car and get that thing running. But unfortunately that won't be in this video because now I have to make another appointment with Lance so that he can come out to my house and then we can start tuning on the car again. Helicopter. Wow. 
anyway, but the bike is fixed. I can't believe I fixed it. Uh, so we had a kind of broken piston and then a bent valve. Got that in there, put it all together. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We have a running bike again. I'm pretty happy I could figure that out and get it fixed. So now that's done. And we are at this off-road track. It's just in the middle of nowhere behind the mall. The shopping mall is just over there. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.